work for us as human? Over explain. Beginning now. Something to read a stand. It brings to mind several unpleasant memories, such as Archmage getting level 3 easily. Due to them being able to use militia creeping to do Something fast do creeping, if you let the human do his own thing and creep, creep up to two camps, as an orc player, you will suffer the wrath of level 3 Archmage. Yes. At which point, it doesn't matter how fast their tech is, it will be delayed due to extended militia usage. But they will come to your base and they'll start making level 2 water elementals over and over to harass your grunts, your burrows, your blade master, and your tier 2 tech. And there's a number of things that we can do. We can accept being level against level 3 Archmage and get our own level 2 hero, be it Farsi or Blade Master. We can go to them immediately. We will be level 1 and they will be level 2. And we cannot stop this. They will do militia creep this with 4 peasants, the standard. There are alternative things, but there's no real reason to consider alternative playstyle because the merit of that is lower. Let's say he goes immediately with Militia here. It's a little weird, but it's weak. It's okay to be wrong against weak styles. When we are up against extremely powerful openers, we will not scout, play to counter it, and as a result, we will have the most efficient opening against that, not sacrificing Lumber to try and fight this strong opening. Again, if we are wrong, maybe occasionally we lose to the wrong opener, but probably we will still be able to salvage because it's not the strongest. Having said that, I am going to try and counter quick Archmage level 3 by going there immediately. I have no real hope to cancel or to steal a creep any items or to kill his Archmage, but I'm going there anyway and I'm gonna right click his Archmage. More than anything, what I need is for him to be as low level as possible, not giving any consideration to my own level. So we go there. Uh, he, if he power built his altar, he can be gone by the time I get there, but probably he will not do that. I'm also going with a one burrow attack to give me a better chance at a difficult map. Having quick attack, quicker second hero gives me an easier defense. Additionally, one burrow attack could not be safer on this map because it's a long distance, so after he finishes this camp, he will not get there on time. Nice self deny. If we can actually steal all wizards, not only do we get this item, we will also not be level 2! Uh, although I used all my mana, the value of not having him be level 2 is that his brilliant aura acquisition is delayed. As a result, he will have less mana than usual, even if he will still eventually get level 2 or 3 or what have you, even if his mana is still regenerating, because you know, mana regenerates in general. But he doesn't have brilliance. He did deny his water elemental, so I don't have XP. But my number one goal is not to get harassed into oblivion. So we must keep following the Archmage, and he's probably trying to creep this with footies. And he might want to buy my boots of speed. Now, I could try to go get my own boots now, but it's so far out of the way. But as a result, I would lose track of him, and he would be able to juke me. I will use this grunt to deny him a boots of speed. Oh, look, he wants to get some kind of Ooh. merc presence what do you want, or creep down here uh oh don't what lose do sight want? of him hmm? ah i found you I you little sneak yes. okay. he has given me the slip once again what do you want? oh that is no good yes. oh that is no good i'm gonna remake that round yes. sloppy sloppy it got, well it got ensnared oh yes cancel the ground get the boots Shadow Hunter, Spirit Lodge, Mystery, Sell TP, get boots, don't buy circlet, preserve money, go get heal solve. That water elemental running out was really good for me. I'm gonna go get heal solve and speed scroll just in case the Archmage finds me, put my grunt to safety, and go to where I last saw him. Okay, he's got Voodoo, he's got his Archmage Vault, which makes it more likely that he wants to tower rush me at tier 2. 
the front footman. Let's chase them. Footman will give away where's the arc lane. Oh, he's doing some militia creepers. Almost steal. This is his way to level 3. Do some block block. And then last hit. Okay, good. I am leaving my base with Blade, but it's worth getting that footman. Master. My Shadow Hunter is going to be out, so let's just go there entirely. Smart moves by him, but uh, we have our tech completely available, which is nice. We're now going to go on the map. Do we have another speed scroll now? We'll try to cancel the regeneration scroll that he's sure to use soon. Uh, okay, he's not using that. We are enemies be hiding. Man. His archmage must be somewhere top right. See, he has shown himself. We'll try to get that on too. The more footies we kill, the fewer meat shield he will have for his tower rush. To we'll make two walkers before we make spirit lane. Immediate. Yeah, he did get his uh, level 3. He cut my top left. GG. Because we. He saw how fast my tech was, and he was not going to get a single burrow, cancel, or grunt kill. We were able to prevent the apocalypse of mass level 2 water elemental summon. And he knew the depth of his despair when he saw my tech, and his own was probably still building because he used so many militia. Even though I'm level 1 1 versus 3, he knew that it would quickly shift around. I would have liked to see him try a little bit more, but I do agree with him that it was very far ahead. The Blade Master losing sight of where the Archmage went though was a big problem for me because he went top left, got my laboratory and my 111, and I got my grunt surrounded to an ensnare on a camp. So that is not a safe one to harass with grunt when he has footman and water elemental because there's a murloc that can ensnare. So he did a good job to get level 3, but the price was higher than he would have liked. And moreover, level 3 is not as much of an issue if I have a quick Shadow Hunter due to the one burrow tech. So I wish that I did one more one burrow tech back then. But I'll tell you how Sky played. He got his level two, didn't get his wizards killed, and then he would like go across the map. He would come with Archmage level two and uh, start summoning small water alleys. Make sure that my blade is forced to go home first, rather than on the middle of the map. Then do the creeping of the goblin shop. So that there could not be any grunt or blade there to cancel it. Why do you sell all the items from camps instead of saving specific ones for your other heroes? That happened with Farseer. Farseer's auto attack damage is so low that... And also you need a lot of consumables when you don't go for Spirit Link. Because you need to heal solve over and over and over. You don't have Heal Wave because Farseer TC. So there's no space to keep things like Claws of Attack on Farseer. Because I need double heal solve, clarity, speed scroll, heal scroll, invil. NTP. And on the other one, I also want heal scroll, heal potion, invul, and a speed scroll. So I have double speed scroll. Uh, whereas with Blade Master, you don't need as much consumables because you're spreading damage with Link and then heal waving it with Shadow. So you need the DPS on the blade. Agility heroes benefit a lot from damage items. Intelligence heroes, not so much. That is why I sell most of the riffraff on Farce here TC. But you see that game that I just played. I just sold TP. That wasn't really an issue. So I think you were talking about previous game. Now he, he is looking to creep jack me, and that works just fine for me. Part of the reason I was starting this is to force him to actually make a move before tier three. Check the disenchant. So he does have orb with no destroyer, so that's fine. I will start using Scroll of the Beast. 